Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In case you didn't know, I'm a huge fan of Evoto AI, which is a cutting edge tool to quickly retouch portraits. And they have just released version 2.3.0-12, which packs tons of features. And today, I will show you a demo of how these new tools work. So with that out of the way, let's get started. Let's try my favorite tool first, which is the wrinkle clothing. And we'll use this image right here. Let me zoom in so we can have a closer look at some of the wrinkles on the pants. Then let's click the shirt icon right here, which is called Clothes and Accessories Touch-Up section. So we are given one slider to apply the wrinkling effect. Let's go all the way to 100 and see what it looks like. Okay, so this is the before, and this is after. Before, after. Let's go to the other side. Before, after. Before, after. Now I don't know about you, but this looks good to me. Let's zoom out to see the entire image. So this is the before, and this is after. Before, after. Let's try decreasing the derinkling effect. Okay, so in my opinion, 100 looks best. So we have two other sliders right here to really target the size of the wrinkles. There is fine wrinkles and coarse wrinkles. For this image, I would leave them at 100. Let's try this image right here. Then remove the derinkling slider all the way to 100. As you can see, it only targeted the clothes and not the fabric on the table. So this tool is not perfect. It can only detect people with clothing. Maybe in future versions, there will be an option to select or brush certain areas on the image that you want to apply the effect. Okay, now let's try it on this image. Again, we simply move the slider. It doesn't get any easier than this. And just like that, it removed the wrinkles on her dress. Now this image is quite extreme. Let's see if it can perform a miracle on this shirt. And here we go. Okay, so obviously this is a fail. Looks like the AI for Drinkling Clothes needs more training data. But I'm pretty sure it will improve as time goes by. And for the last example, Let's use this one. And just as I thought, it did perfectly well on this image. Let's now move on to the next new function which is Heal. This is very similar to the Spot Healing tool in Photoshop. You click this Band-Aid icon right here on the top left, and it will enter the Healing tool. Then we can resize the brush by pressing the left and right square brackets. Then we carefully paint over the spots that we want to remove. So besides the heal tool where it removes blemishes, it also has the patch tool. Let's try using it. So we select an area right here, and then drag it to an area similar to its color and texture. Remember to take your time doing this. But for this demo, I'll go ahead and fast forward this step. The third tool in the healing section is the Clone Stamp tool. So you click the Alt key to sample a smooth area, and then brush over the blemish. This can be quite tricky and used by professional retouchers, but I'm sure you get the idea. But in my opinion, the AI in Evoto is very good, that you can trust the presets available. Let me show you. So let's reset this image. Then go over to the recommended presets section. And then click on high end 1. And that's it. We just retouched this image literally in one click. So for me, the only purpose of the healing tool is if the preset missed a few spots, 
Then you can manually remove the blemishes. The other additional feature in version 2.3.0-12 is the Curve Adjustment tool, which you can now have manual control over the shadows, highlights, and midtones. And also in the Crop tool, you can now save your custom crop dimensions. Evodo AI is getting better and better every day. And they continue to add amazing and helpful features at a very fast rate, which I really appreciate. If you'd like to try Evoto AI for free, use the link down in the video description to get 30 free credits when you sign up using your email. No credit card required. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button, subscribe for more editing software videos like this, and click on the bell icon to enable notifications. I'll see you in my next video. Thank you for watching.